Hello people, I thought that we would look at all of these. I just um, got a big order in of Nova Color. I only had about six of them before and I ordered a bunch. Um, so I thought we'd look at these colors um, while making some leaves, which may end up being the background for something um, or just maybe marks. So I thought I'd do cool colors on one page and warm ones on the other. This is the Thalo Blue Deep. Oh my goodness, that's really intense. Beautiful. I've added quite a bit of water and this is watercolor paper. Um, it's kind of behaving like a watercolor, but it's acrylic. Nova Color is that company, it's in California, um, Culver City and they don't sell their um, paints in paint stores or dealers from my understanding. You have to, you have to buy directly from them. Um, and they're a good price and good color. I learned about them from, what, from Betty Franks, who has a, an amazing YouTube channel. So this is turquoise. The yellow turquoise and if you follow my work you know that I love turquoise beautiful so they're, I haven't even opened these so well a couple of them I did they're beautiful creamy texture sometimes my only uh, it depends on what I want to do but if I want a little bit thicker paint then these can be, you know, they're just, I don't know, they're not liquidy, but they're also, they're not as dry as sometimes I want. So if, if that's the case, I'll just make sure I don't have any water on my brush if I want that. That was, oh, the Quinacridone Purple, which I love because I like to use a dark plum and that came out pretty dark. This is the Carbazol dio dioxazine violet. Good lord. Um, so that can be almost black or with water. Turns into a really intense purple. So obviously, I would be mixing these, something like that. I wouldn't use it that intensely. I'd be using it probably. Um, mixed with a little bit of yellow, that would warm that up more to a color that I would use. And here's the Cerulean Blue Hue. That's a pretty blue. Very similar to the, to the Thalo Blue Deep, though. So if I'd known that, I wouldn't have bought them both. You don't need them both, in my opinion. And let's see, well, we're on the blues. Oh, that's the same thing. I must have had one of them. This is cobalt blue. I probably only needed one of these. Yeah, for sure. I probably would pick that one, the, um, the phthalo blue and the uh, cobalt here, because it's a bit cooler, and skip the cerulean. This cobalt's nice. Reminds me of the mineral or rock lapis lazuli. And let's see. Green. I have a permanent green light. And this I found really intense, almost fluorescent. Uh, so again, we'd be mixing that. I think I'm going to do a, a color mixing class. Yeah, that's, it's just kind of more loud on its own than I would, but that's what I found about some of their colors. But when you mix, they can get really pretty. Now this one says opaque. Some of them say opaque on them and some of them say transparent, interestingly. So I don't know, to me that depends on how much water you add. 
but they must have more pigment or something in the opaque ones. This I really love. This is chromium oxide green, and this added with yellow makes an olivey color that I am kind of obsessed with. Okay, that's pretty. It's looking pretty with some water in it there that really looks like watercolor. And I, even though you can make a gray, I thought it'd be kind of fun to buy one. This is the Neutral Gray 5, opaque. And it's a nice warmish gray. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it yet, but sometimes, you know, mixing it with another color can be interesting or uh, with white and just getting a neutral. Actually, a little bit of my green went in that that's still on the brush, and that's pretty. So those are the cools that I have. Um, well, I guess we can add this. This green, to me, feels like a warm green, but since it's a green, we'll put it on the cool page. It is the yellow green, and it's not quite right for me as a yellow green. It's again, kind of fluorescent, but I found that if I added some white and some um, dark, it sounds strange, but some dark and white to get it a little less fluorescent and, and, and some yellow, some warm yellow, got it to, to the kind of yellow green that I like. All right, now let's do the warm colors. I have a quinacridone red, and I don't know if this is, yeah, this is the one. This, this mixed with some white is beautiful. So I'll do that when I do color mixing. But it is, it is a pinky red that if you add more water, gets really pink. Very pretty. Yeah. Quinacridone red. Then I have quinacridone magenta. This one's really bright. So it's just a little more purpley than the red, but you wouldn't need to buy both of these, I don't think. You could just get one of them and then add a touch of blue to that and probably get pretty close to this. But that's very pretty. That's quinacridone magenta. And while we're on the pinks, I did, I don't really make pinks, but I thought this would be fun to see hot pink opaque. And the funny thing is, it's, it's not that hot. <laughs> in the sense that um, it, it it doesn't it's not it's not as bright as say a fluorescent or like in uh, Winsor Newton like an opera pink I mean that's what I would call a hot pink this is this is just a bright not even I don't know I don't even think it's that bright it's a strong pink let's call it that and it is opaque I can see that there compared to the to the quinacridone red. Both of these are transparent and that is more opaque. So that's interesting. And then I did um, a cadmium red medium. This one says opaque. But again, if you add enough water, you know, not much is gonna be opaque. But you can control that with how much water you add. So I'll make this one thicker and it is opaque. Okay, then we have the cadmium orange. I was playing with this last night. I am kind of obsessed with it. It's a really pretty orange. It's lively and uh, I 
think the right amount of orangish, if you will. It's very, uh, has a nice flow to it. The way that the color comes, it's, the, it's also opaque, but it's just very um, delicious. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Put some more down here. And my last warm is cadmium yellow deep. Oh no, I have another yellow, I'll show you. Um, this is also opaque, a very nice yellow. Rich, creamy, and not watery or transparent at all. Then the other yellow I have is the Cadmium Yellow Light, which this is one of the original colors I bought. And I've, I've used it, I'm more of a Cadmium Yellow Medium person, but for some reason I bought this one first, so it's kind of the only yellow Nova color I had. So I use it for mixing, I don't use it. Again, it's too bright and fluorescent-y most of my work or, or maybe highlights somewhere but I mix it with other things okay those are so that's the fun colors in Nova color and um, I also ordered I might as well show you this some black gesso from them and I tried it out yesterday where is that oh, I think it's in the other room but it's very intense like it's <laughs> so you know if you put black paint on something you can kind of paint over it and you obviously can paint over this but it takes some significant painting over if you want just sort of it to show in the background so I'm gonna have to experiment with that um, but anyway uh, I don't have a business relationship with Nova Color I just thought I'd share uh, these fun colors Okay, have fun creating.